Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one interview question actually somebody asked in one of the really good product companies that uh, create a string language translator or maybe autobots. For example, let's see if you say that this is a English to Spanish uh, translator. It could be any translator English to Spanish English to German or whatever you say. Hello Naveen. It should give you hola Naveen or whatever that you are passing over here. It should give you some the respective translation in the in the respective uh, language over here. Another example is that you uh, write one autobot where you write something. For example, let's say I'm writing uh, uh, hi, good morning. Then it should reply you very good morning, Naveen. Something like this. It should reply you back. So how will you create that? So let's start with the basic system dot out of bin talent. I'll simply start with let's see. Uh, hello, Naveen. I'll simple print it and then I'll do one thing. I'll create one static block over here and in this particular static block. I'll do one thing that I'll create one field variable. Let's see field a value which is equal to and using the reflection. I'll be using a string dot class dot. There is a method guys get declared. A field name is available. Okay, which is the field name? Give me the value name. So what exactly it will do that get declared field value. It will be given and then this field that you have to import then uh, it's giving you one option. So surround with the try catch block. So let's surround with the try catch block over here. Okay. After that, what you have to do from the value, you have to use one important thing that is called set accessible. Set accessible, you have to make it true over here. It means I can access whatever the value that you are going to pass. I can access that and then I can set it also once again. So I simply write value dot set method is available and then you can replace your string. Let's see if you say that. Okay, fine. If you are giving me uh, hello, uh, Naveen. Then I'll be giving you what a different string over here. So I'll be giving you value dot a get method. I'll be writing whatever the string uh, Spanish a translation. Let's see, Ola Naveen. I simple paste it over here like that. So likewise, you can create multiple uh, strings combinations like that, and it's giving you add catch clause one more catch block. You can add it over here like this. Okay. So what exactly I'm going to do that? I'm going to add let's see a couple of things over here if I say that uh, uh, good morning good morning Naveen so it should give you the uh, Spanish uh, translation of good morning Naveen so I'll do one thing I'll just paste it over here and get the respective translation it's giving you something like this over here I'll just copy paste and uh, if I write that instead of good morning I simply say that this is my uh, how are you I'm asking the question and then same thing it should give you the Spanish translation of how are you so is giving you something like this in Spanish. Okay, so like this perfect. So let's see this is working or not this uh, field variables will be set for the strings for these respective strings right now I'm doing hard coded later on when you implement the for the actual system. You can get it from the dynamically value from the database or from the API also you can get it and these are the set values that you can already configure in your system. Okay, so when I run this hello Naveen is already set. I should not get hello Naveen now. I should get hola Naveen over here. So let's run it and let's see. Awesome. See it's giving you hola Naveen over here. If I say that okay fine. Uh, good morning Naveen. So I'll do one thing. I'll just print good morning Naveen once again. I'm supplying from my side. I'm supplying this. The string is already set for good morning. Naveen is Buno Diaz Naveen something like this Spanish guys. So see this is something it's written over here like that. Right. If I'm passing something system dot out of print and then if I say how are you so it should give you the respective Spanish. Well, that okay the text that we have already set it should give you something like this. So this is what you can actually do that. Same thing if you really want to create a bot here, you can create one autobots that also you can do that. So for example, let's see if you are writing value dot a set over here and then if you are giving me something else that uh, hello team, I need help in Java. If someone is writing like this later on, you can write some regular expressions also that on the basis of that. It will be recognized and then it will always reply with this value that you are going to set it over here. So I simply write value dot uh, get and let's see if someone is asking this question. Hello, hello team. I need help in Java or let's say I simply write I need help in Java. So I simply write please refer Naveen automation labs. 
okay so i'll pass this particular message via string i simply write system dot order println i'll write i need help in java so let's see what exactly the output we are getting so output is getting please refer Naveen automation labs right it's not printing i need help in java or how are you or something so what exactly we are doing it here guys that we know that strings are immutables and a string will be created these strings will be created inside the heap inside the string pools hello naveen good morning naveen how are you and all those things and inside the pool from the string class we are fetching the through the reflection the respective values making it set accessible true set accessible true means i can access that and this is a true flag i'm passing it means i can access and then i can set the value i can interchange the value like this so we have replaced hello naveen with this and so on so in this case, whenever we are passing the respective things, we can create a system where chatbot or maybe autobots or maybe some a language, a translator kind of system that we can build. This is just an example, guys. I'm not saying these are the hardware values you have to use that. You can maintain these values in your properties or maybe XMLs or some database. You can get it dynamically. You can get it from there. So this is what the question is all about. But if you make it false, if you don't give the access. So let's see what kind of uh, is it working or not. So in this case, see this. In this case, it's not giving you any respective translator. Whatever we are printing, it's giving you the same thing. It means it's saying, first of all, illegal access exception. It's saying that uh, cannot access a member of class Java string in this particular module, like this with modifiers private and final. So I cannot access that. I cannot modify that. So that's why we won't be able to do that. So here we are changing the permission for accessible permission with the help of a uh, true although this is not a good idea to do that that's why it's giving you a, a warning also when you try to run it it will give you a warning something like this that an illegal reflective access operation has occurred on the string class so that's why we will get the warning this is not the error okay and we are getting again the respective translated string we are getting it okay so this is what guys you can simple prepare it and we know that strings are immutables but a string here this is a violation of the string immutables don't you see that we say that the strings cannot be changed the string object states cannot be changed here we are changing it so we are just replacing hello naveen with the uh, ola naveen over here it's not like ola naveen a new string uh, will be created inside the pool this entire string will be will be uh, replaced by this new uh, translator string over here like that so here this is a violation of the string uh, immutable also this is my understanding about this particular concept about this particular question if you have any other understanding please feel free to share it you can achieve with the this thing with the hash map or maybe some other collection also they specifically write create a string language translator using reflection so this is one of the example of reflection api in java that is the full question actually was that i hope this is clear now so that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much i hope you are liking this series a lot of good things are coming and uh, please try this and let me know if you have any other solution for this question subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all Bye bye